Hello everyone, my name is Bella Briar 112 and today I'm doing a review on Briar's new limited edition model for 2016, Chance. He's a red done paint horse and yeah, let's let's just get started. So this is Chance new in box. He has a pretty basic Briar box. He has a sticker that says limited edition. He was a mid states exclusive for 2016. And yeah, he's a really pretty boy. I always liked his color. I I don't think I really have a red dun in my collection, and Briar doesn't do many red duns, so I thought he was a very cool find. Here's the back of his box with his sticker and just kind of the info about Briar and what they do. And here's a clo close up on his um, little like tag sticker thing. If you want to read up on that and pause the video for a moment, you could do that too. So this is Chance outside of the box. I have to say, he's honestly really stunning. I love his coloring and the shading, especially all around all his muscles. It's very defined on him. He has the little stripes on his legs, and his legs, they all have, um, he has four white socks and you know, the nice light tan hooves, and it goes from like the white to the dark. He's really, really pretty eyes, but I did the more realistic eyes with him, which I do like. I think they look good on him, in my opinion. And yeah, he's honestly really stunning. I had I got a pretty good one. He didn't have many flaws. Some slight um, shiny marks on his offside just due to being in the box, but he's otherwise pretty good. His markings, for the most part, are very crisp on his offside, I believe. They were a little funky, but I'll show you that a bit later. Here's a close-up on his face. I think he has a very, very cute face for this mold. This is the Zip of Pine Bar mold, I believe, and I do adore this mold. He has a little forelock coming down on the front, and he has a nice big blaze that fades into some pinky on his little nose. Very cute overall. I love the colors that they did for his mane and tail. It almost reminds me like someone who would have red hair. It's so vibrant in color. He's just very vibrant. And now I'm just going to show you guys a quick video um, that's a bit more closer up on him, giving you guys a bit more detail up and close and personal. You see his little chestnuts. He really is in good condition. He's one of the better briars I think Briar has come out with for this year. He's got a lot of personality, a lot of color, a lot of things going on. Instead of the plain black horses, I think Briar did an excellent job with him. He's a really, really pretty guy. Not many flaws. He's a little bumpy in some areas, but that's just a part of the molding, I believe. In his mane, there was a little bit of overspray, but with a little bit of etching or some nail polish remover, you could easily get rid of that. And sorry he gets out of focus at a couple moments, that's just because turning him around or maneuvering him, the camera gets focus. so I'm sorry about that. So it was this part, these markings on him that the, they weren't exactly the crispest, but like I said, you can etch that and it'd be perfectly fine, good as new again. So it's not really big, it's not really a biggie with me, I'm, I'm fine with that because I could just do that myself. I mean, overall, he's honestly a really, really nice horse. Like, 1 out of 10, 10 being the best, he'd probably be a 9. And I, I give him a 9 just because of the small, little, teeny, little, you know, flaws that he had. But he's overall really great. He's an awesome horse to add to your collection. So, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.